Okay, welcome. Um, right, uh, we're going to be looking at um, Charon or Sharon, which is um, Pluto's largest moon. Um, saying that it's only about uh, 750 miles wide, so um, it's not that big. Okay, um, just going to explain a few things. Um, been going through my files and I've got tons and tons of stuff but uh, most of it <clears throat> is uh, sort of unfinished um, and uh, it takes a great deal of time to get into a point where you know most people are going to see what I'm trying to show um, it's quite difficult and I'm finding myself restarting a lot of stuff because I'm using a different process now and um, yeah, so, um, okay, right, so I started with, um, obviously, pause it, have a read, uh, this image here, um, and, what was it, yesterday, I had a look at this image, I thought I'd do a colour one, they don't normally work, because the tools that I use, uh, they pull old colours through and things, but I'll show you, it worked out quite well, so, um, this is the first one, um, and that's it in its raw, nothing done to it, um, state, quite cool, um, a couple of things that stand out, here, here, um, this area, okay. So, uh, this is with an old file, <clears throat> but I actually restarted this one again. I can work a lot quicker than I used to, um, and I'll show all that on uh, on a different video, because it will give, give you a really good uh, head start. Um, my commenters... Thank you very much. Um, it's brilliant. Um, the guy, hello, James White. I think it is. Um, just a tip, James, uh, because he's having a go at this. this. Is what it's all about. Um, if you don't know, when you are scaling your image up, use the no halo or the low halo. Just check it out between the um, cubic and stuff. It seems to come out better. Okie doke. Right. Um, okay, so let's let's have a look at this and see what we can find. Now the problem with this image, once it was blown out, is really quite blurry. So the more blurry an image is, the more you have to work with the tools to compress that blurriness back using your shadows, midtones and highlights. Um, Let's just have a look at some features. Well, the whole thing's a fit. another one, another uh, moon which is completely covered with uh, stuff. So, if you're not, um, if you're new to this, rather, um, what I tend to do is um, show you a little bit of the research in in action to let your eyes brain adjust to what you're looking at because immediately you're not necessarily going to see anything you need to you know you need to get into the pictures to to understand what you're looking at um, but here there's quite clearly some oddities going on I'll blow these up somewhat larger for those of you who are using little screens um, problem I have is I, I've got a really big screen and um, obviously the the uh, the eye screen ratio is a completely different so uh, there we go so we're just going to have a quick look at this just to give you uh, an idea of what is getting pulled out of the the surface using this method 
can see various things. This area, there's going to be some good detail coming out. Because it's been missed in the previous, the prior editing to releasing the photograph. And this, we'll have a look at this in more detail on the, on the colour one. Which is quite cool, came out pretty good. Um, so obviously this crater of sorts um, doesn't look very crater-like. This reminds me of stuff on uh, areas of Mars. Um, yeah, so pause it, take a good look, see what you can see. Obviously you're going to get more perspective the further around the centre of the sphere, obviously. So bear that in mind as well. But as you can see, this is, well, this is basically in a very unfinished state as well. <clears throat> it takes so long with um, the more blurred images to start getting decent clarity out of it. But you can see here, quite blatantly, some sort of uh, tube-like structure going into and under and out of again. And in here, just before I did this, I went in and just highlighted a few bits, just pulled them a little bit more so you can so you can see them slightly better. But here, not very uh, naturally geological looking to me. Um, If this is the first time you've seen anything like this, go and have a look at the uh, other videos. Um, <clears throat> the first one of um, Ganymede is the one that I spent the most amount of time on. That's the very first one I started on a few years ago. Um, and it's insane. That will give you more of an idea what you're sort of looking at. Look across here. See these tubes. I can't resist it, I have to do something. And then we'll look at the colour one. Oh, stopwatch, hold on. I have to keep an eye on the time. I'm trying to keep these videos at a reasonable time. Because you will flip through this stuff. If you're not interested in um, you know, doing it yourself, but please do, please do. It will it will change uh, change you dramatically. If the, I'm not going to say better or worse, but it's uh, it's a bit of a journey to say the least. So, if you are now sticking with the video and watching this, I am working as quickly as I can. I don't tend to normally do that. It's more of a methodical, therapeutic pace. It out.
each tool doesn't lay anything down, it just pulls and pushes the, the uh, different tones of pixels in the image. Very simple, but very, very effective. So you see this, these tube like that have other tubes running into them, over them. See the clarity of this area is different. Slightly more crispy. There's obviously stuff running. So this was the first one, and the, and the I had another go at it. Again, apologies if you can't see this on your little phone and stuff. I really suggest um, viewing this on a on a on a much bigger screen. Okay, there we have it, Charon or Charon, I'm not entirely sure um, what the complex geological history, tectonic fracturing, relatively smooth, fractured plains, um, several um, enigmatic mountains, yeah, so pretty plain and rocky and simple and smooth and not. Okay, right. So this was the other image I looked at the day before yesterday. Um, taken a day before the other one, I think. Um, and this is it untouched. It's cool, it's a good picture. Um, and now this is a bit I've just worked out how to get to this stage really quickly so it's going to it's save you hours and hours and hours of work um, so and it's literally it, it's using the um, the burn and dodge tools um, Coming quite large these images, they're they're pretty they're pretty good. Just having a look. Now it's brought out much, much, much more detail to the point where you can see a lot more stuff going on. To me that's just like mind boggling. But if you don't know what you're looking for, then um you're not gonna see it. Well, you don't want to look for it then you're not going to see it obviously there's stuff here it's all over the place that are not conducive to their description you can see it starting to pixelate now there you go that's pixelating wow this is a good going i'm only like seven minutes in getting somewhere okay 
So it's a nice, nice image. One of Pluto's moons. Pluto, guys. Yeah. Pluto. So, oh yeah, here's its uh, insignia. I like these. Shedding light on frontier worlds. Hmm. Okay, though. Right. Now, this is the one I've been working on. With the um, hours saved pre to um, increasing the resolution I'm doing this at and then I work on it at the high resolution obviously because then you know you're getting into details and things then um, but let's have a look around let's have a look around so this smooth surface that they're uh, they spoke off in the brief description there um, doesn't look so smooth anymore um, and I hope you can see this this really is this is so unfinished but I thought I'd carry on because it was working quite well with the colour um, and I will do some work on this with you um, where to start where should we start Let's start in the in the orange area. Um, and someone did mention the zooming in and out, and I have had a look at the zooming in and out, and there isn't couldn't find there is talk of it, but there is um, there's different hot keys and stuff that you can do your zooming in and out with, but no, it's all it's all um, it's, it's staggered. So we have to put up with that. Or you can do it smoothly in Photoshop, which is uh, ideal for this sort of thing. Um, but it's good training for the eye because you get every time I do it, you're gonna have to readjust. And what it is at the end of the day is getting used to um, seeing this stuff. pretty weird but it's not overly defined let's go in there and do a bit of work on that Now with this colour setting as well, I do get more problems uh, with the exposure levels as it wants to leave it. As you can probably see in some places, that's probably where I haven't spent too much attention. Well, I was trying to do this too quickly. That's the thing, you can't do this quickly. It doesn't work. You'll lose so much and obviously make mistakes like this. So when you go back over that, it's going to see if it does it. See what I mean? It leaves leaves an angle like that, so that's not that's not acceptable for me. But we're going to have to leave it at that. And what I will be doing, I'm going to have to do with everything, is um, I'm going to have to revisit everything again once I've gotten to a to a you know a level where you know no one can deny that this. Uh, Uh, stuff uh, is uh, structural so let's have a quick blast quick he says yeah so I don't know how real these these colors actually are um, they use a multi spec Trauma, spectrometrical imaging camera, I think. Oh, let's just have a quick look. 
um, the Ralph multi-spectral vi visual imaging camera MVIC colors the protest process to the best highlight and various the service will be covered. Oh, there you go anyway well, you can read that so pretty cool uh, cameras that cost millions and millions and millions of dollars and they uh Worse pictures than a disposable camera, but no, 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 of course they don't. Us mere mortals only get to see the the crap. That's why I have to do things like this. Hope I'm not mumbling. There we go. when I'm working in there and when it, when we pull back out that's when you get the clarity that's when you can see more stuff you can work it on this level but the closer you are the more uh, uh, it's more sp specific to the to the pixels i.e. more detail see look at this area here let's have a look at that area And there's no um, there's no debate about this. It's um, you know ifs, whats, coulds. Yeah, for sure. But when I can say to you, okay, then if. if um, if you can't get to grips with it, if you're if, if you're unsure, um, the only way to be sure is to um, try it yourself. It's as simple as that, and I can guarantee anyone can learn to use the minimal tools in this program. Um, you will get the same results, guaranteed. There's no, you, you know, if, if someone wanted to start arguing, you just go, no, there's no point in arguing. Try it yourself. Download the image from NASA, upload it into GIMP, and uh, or Photoshop. Photoshop, absolutely. It's exactly the same deal. Except Photoshop has got a bit, the process is better I think, it can deal with larger images as well. Um, but GIMP is it's a good one to, it's open source, it's free license, it means it's totally free. You can make donations to them obviously, do that, support them. But it allows the mere mortals to um, have a go at this stuff. It's brilliant. You know, student who's, students who can't afford afford all their their fees and everything and so on and so forth can now learn um, graphics and things. So let's just go out of there, and you can start seeing the because this is on the top. There's going to be an element of perspective now, so you're seeing the top seeing the top and the sides where are we at? 16 what? it's the only thing with the, with the colour 
it can get a bit funky when you get to a certain level. It can look quite odd. So that's it. Tell you what, if you find a bit on this, just do yourself a little experiment. And um, if it's on your phone or something like that, find find an area um, from the vid which looks pretty structural, like or something, and just randomly show it to to a friend or a family member or something like that. Don't tell them what it is. You don't even have to tell them what it is or anything like that and just ask them what do you think this is just ask them what do you think that is just see what see what replies you get in respect. helps me as well if you could tell me getting them to the I did that with the um, <clears throat> excuse me um, first video some people I used to work with and they're very uh very um, engineer, practical engineering type sort of people and stuff, and um, I'm just going, oh yeah, this looks like some sort of uh, refinery, or, or it looks like a complex of, of some description, um, yeah, which is cool. Didn't tell them that it was uh, one of Jupiter's moons. Well, I did after a while, obviously. It's difficult to keep stuff like that under your hat. And they were, uh, you know, obviously they didn't believe me. And uh, if I am finding it, even though it is hidden, NASA must be putting it there for me. You know, for one of the the handful of people who are interested in this that can be bothered to do it, um, yeah, no point of them doing that. So, but they wouldn't have it. Wouldn't have it. And uh, and not just them. But the impression I get from from a lot of people is they'd sooner not know which is another weird one so you can slowly see this stuff starting to see this an area it's um, with the brush too quick too overlapping but you can flatten it back out <coughs> So I wouldn't worry too much. <clears throat> and I do suggest when, if you uh, start doing this, um, do it in grayscale, black and white. It's so much easier to see and you won't have to muck around with the, the tool settings quite so much. Okay. Let's have a little... Look around. Now this is, as you can see, again, looks like pretty much of all the surface. Covered. In extremely odd geological forms. Not a smooth, flat, rocky surface, obviously. No manipulation, no nothing. This is what 
the image is giving me, plain and simple. One of my comments, um, there's a guy having a go and he's getting results. Try it yourself. This is what it's about. We want loads of people working on the same images, getting the same results. See this, this area here was just black and um, there's something in there peeking out. Now, even after those explanations, you know, people can go, yeah, but it could be, and I totally understand how they could say, yeah, it could be and stuff and things, but as simple as the, the little description that they've just given us of Sharon or Charon surface is completely different to what we're finding here and if it was like this and they were bad photographs then surely they would be explaining why the surface is like this you know And if they were shown it like this, because it's so blatant, they wouldn't be anyway. You know, let's go, well, it's their giant, it's a, it's a moon covered in giant crystals, which give these the appearance of intelligently built looking structures, shapes, forms, however you want to. People also, people go, well, that's, that's just not good enough. You know, I can't, I can't really tell. And it's like, well, unfortunately, if you do this sort of thing, you have to, um, you know, get the best out of what, what's available. And what's available is pants, basically. It's that, it's, it's that simple. Check this out. Where are we at? 25. <laughs> We're going again. I can't, I can't. I don't know how real these they are they are they are enhanced but it says the description that the camera takes so I'll just show you this one which is very prominent on all the pictures of this moon um, pause it Obviously, give yourself time to look at it and uh, then I'll just go and have a look at a few more places because I'm running out of time again but like I say gonna review all this stuff uh, because it's never ending manual panning here I'm looking at an editing program which is another open source one 
some shortcut, I think. And I'm going to see if I can do some time lapse on it. I probably mentioned that on the last video. And I might be able to do some zooming in and out and moving around. I've seen other channels that do it. So that would be quite cool. So if you are watching this fresh and you are unsure what the tools are doing and stuff, have a look at the first first video, first two videos of sorts in it and it gives you more of a, an explanation. Or you can just go on YouTube and how to use dodge and burn tools and, and, and uh, guaranteed it will, it will show you. This is a weird bug. You have to look at this area here which is very familiar with a lot of things um, these running sort of platforms there's perspective with this and then there's a structure on the top see this is underneath this really touch much of this area and a quick blast through it in fact I think that's where I very first started you can see across here if you are going to look at the main image and you look at this it looks completely smooth flat flat as a pancake clearly mod stuff on it. I remember I was doing this area just before we started. This area around here. It's like Moon Base Alpha. If you're old enough to remember that, it's based 1999. It's quite funny. But a cool planet. Problem. Too much to look at. Is there anything else I can see sticking out? See that? There's clearly something sticking out. There's a shadow. That's what it looks like to me. This area here. just a mess it's just a jumble yeah I know I know it is but it's all in there you can be bothered to look at this stuff then you've got to give yourself time Craziness everywhere. It's need a lot, lots of work. Okay, let's have a look at this, and then I'm gonna have to go. Crazy stuff. When you look at the full, 
full moon. Um, this moon, 750 odd <coughs> miles, 1000 odd kilometers. And you can work out some perspective and scaling. I just haven't had the time to do this on here. So you can work out how big that is, for example. It would be interesting to know. Your brain has to learn so much when you're looking at this stuff. It's, uh, it's outside our thinking realm of sorts, isn't it? So, anyway, tons and tons of interesting things to look at. Color makes a change, work quite well. All this area, I haven't even haven't even touched. Um, that is crazy interesting this. What is building this stuff? Amazing. That's a whole different subject. There you go. Right, thanks again. Um, I've got tons coming up, um, and um, I'll do them as quickly as I possibly can. Um, and obviously, like and subscribe, and tell people about it. And uh, this is uh, this is real stuff. It's simple. Can't say anything else apart from you can do this yourself and you will find exactly the same stuff so and then the questions start lots of them but okay right nice one um thank you and goodbye